Criminals are constantly developing new ways to separate you from your money. Basically, it's ruined my mother financially. Melissa Roberson says her mother fell victim to a Jamaican lottery scam that started with a phone call. The 73-year-old emptied her savings and took out a $20,000 loan. She's just a very given, trusting person. She believed it. She believed it to be true. Even said she didn't want the money for herself. She wanted to help her children, her grandchildren, St. Jude's Hospital. She Postal Inspector Greg Smith says victims are told they have to pay a tax to collect on their lottery winnings. Unfortunately, they keep paying and never collect. They'll say they're FBI agents, they're postal inspectors, they're attorneys. They'll say anything to make you believe that they're going to come uh, and uh, you're coming at your door sometime. Like they'll get online and see through what your house looks like through Google Earth but they're nowhere near you and it's just a threat to keep you sending that money. Melissa believes her mother suffered a stroke because of the stress and threatening phone calls. She hopes other families will learn from her mistake. My take on it is if we can get this out there, educate our parents and grandparents, if they don't take that phone call, it's going to shut it down. You know, if, they, if the Jamaicans don't have anybody to talk to, it's over. Probably the biggest thing is if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Erica Lathan, Fox 17 News.